Hey, John Hickok here. Today we're going to try to not necessarily answer the question, but give you some data on the question, is full auto controllable, right? So kind of, we're going to do kind of a scientific experience because we may not get your answer, but we're going to try some things. We're going to shoot a little full auto and uh, maybe you can gather something from that uh, because I think that people tend to be wrong a lot on one extreme or the other in regards to full auto fire, right? Some people think that it's like the movies. If you have something full auto, you're just gonna be like maximum effectiveness and you're gonna take out everything. And you can just spray and pray. Um, so people have an unrealistic idea of how effective it is in that direction. And then sometimes in the other direction, which almost sometimes seems more about a resistance to seeming like they're one of those guys that doesn't know anything about guns than actual reality where they think that full auto has no use whatsoever. It's only fun um, and it never should even be considered in any sort of practical realm, right? So I've got a little bit of an array here. I'm gonna shoot 30 rounds into this target at roughly 10 yards, 60 rounds uh, continuous burst into a target around 20 yards, and then another 60 round drum into um, uh, we're going to shoot a drum into a drum up here and then we're going to shoot a drum into a wall uh, at about 40 yards and kind of see what that's like okay so i've got this m16 kind of a, it's kind of an m16a2 because the upper is a2 uh, but the lower is actually my m16a1 transferable uh, but with all the things that make a gun an a2 it's got most of them so i would kind of consider this to be an a2 all right so let's get started i got a 30 round mag on my mag holder back here i'm going to shoot at the red dot and i'm not going to do a burst now i could have a malfunction or something like that that could stop me but i'm just going to hold down the trigger and just let it rip and i'm going to do my best job of holding it on that dot right there okay all right we're on full auto and a big aspect of this too is the type of gun, which we'll talk about more, the type of, uh, of full auto firearm you're shooting, whether it's a, a machine pistol or a rifle or a machine gun, belt fed, and also based on the person. You know, are you controllable? You know, is the gun controllable? Okay, full auto. All right, we're clear. Let's walk up there and check it out. All right, so they're a little bit low, and I would account that for the sight, the sight difference. I tried to allow for that some, but I actually held it down a lot easier than I even thought that I would be able to. But as you can see here, um, in this area, a pretty decent, decent little group there. It kind of almost wanted to go more side to side on me than it did uh, up and down because it's a pretty, pretty easy gun to control. So there you go. It's about ten years. and. Uh, Let's see, let's get this other drum. Also, uh, while I'm loading this thing up, I wanna let you guys know I'll be doing, uh, uh, some of you know I do stand-up comedy on the side and uh, I'll be doing my first ever uh, feature um, act, which is what uh, goes right after the host and before the headliner at uh, JP's Comedy Club in Phoenix, Arizona on July 16th. The show starts at 7 p.m. I would love it so much if you guys would come out and see me do that. So it'll be my first feature act. I'll be doing uh, 15 minutes, so that'll be a lot of fun. All right, so on with the video. Okay, we're in full auto. Now we're gonna shoot at the uh, target that's roughly like 20 yards, something like that. I'm gonna go for the red dot. This time I'm gonna Go ahead and aim a little bit higher on it than I did. I mean, I won't ha since it's further away, I won't have to account for the sight difference, but I held it down just better than I thought I would. So I'm gonna try not to like uh, counter for that as much. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Here we go, 20 yards. Uh, now I'm gonna let this thing rip too. This is 60 rounds. The Magpul uh, 60 round drum. Okay, let's walk up there and check it out. Okay, so as you can see here, it looks like uh, the group kind of wanted to trend. Again, it was kind of down, uh, you know, kind of overcompensating, I guess, a little bit on keeping it down. Um, kind of a little bit to the right. 
but uh, I mean, not bad. I mean, that's, you know, if you have a pretty good sized hand, I mean, that's like kind of most of them, you know, in a, in a hand right there. So you know, that could be considered to be pretty effective. Another issue of firing that many continuously is um, I couldn't see after about like the seventh round that went off. There was so much smoke. Let's the cameraman back up. He's not a, uh, as experienced as me at reverse walking. <laughs> He's doing pretty good though. Okay, so now we've got a cinder block wall down there at roughly uh, 40 yards, and we're gonna do the same thing. Now I would not be putting uh, this thing through so much abuse since it's a transferable if this was the original upper, but this is a A2 H-bar uh, upper I bought after the fact, so. Uh, it'll handle the heat pretty good okay so from right here we're going to cut loose on this center block wall down there got a bit red red circle on it all right full auto ready to go all right we're clear let's walk down there See what we can see. So we definitely took out the wall, so there's no, <laughs> there's no question of that. Um, and even maybe from that, that gives you some idea because you know the 556 is not exactly a cinder block annihilator. So that shows that I was getting most of the rounds I would say were on the on the wall. And if you were behind that. Uh, you probably probably would have been in some trouble. So you guys can kind of make your own own conclusion, you know, uh, from what you saw there. It depends on the controllability of full auto. Depends on um, you know multiple factors. Depends on the the caliber that you're firing, uh, the gun, the weight of the gun, the rate of fire of the of the the gun, the rifle, whatever it happens to be, machine pistol. Um, you know, having a stock makes a difference. Like obviously. If I had been firing a, a Mac 10, you know, one-handed, uh, that would have been a whole different story, or a belt-fed, or a mounted, right? So there's a lot of different factors. Um, but in general, if you have um, a decently controllable gun with a re somewhat reasonable rate of fire, as you can see there, I think you can get pretty effective um, hits on targets at moderate ranges. It, it's, you know, it wasn't just wild and all over the place. So Hopefully that gives you some idea and in closing I think I would say that full auto can be um, pretty controllable. Yeah, so I think it can be kind of underrated or maybe overrated. Um, like most things it's never as bad or as good as a lot of people think it is. So hopefully that helps you there and if nothing else hope you like seeing this thing in action. Look at that no malfunctions. Uh, M16 A2 upper with the transferable M16 A1 lower. I mean quite a quite a piece right there and it's nice and hot but you know it would take some more if it, if it had to thank you everybody hope you enjoyed the video and i hope i see you at jp's comedy club in phoenix arizona on uh, july 16th seven o'clock see you there but oh, all right it's a long walk from where i had to shoot that oh man oh hey didn't see you guys there since you're here i want to let you know about our friends over at talon grips and ballastall talongungrips.com Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also, Ballastol, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastol, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok. 45.com you can also find us on facebook hickok 45 twitter hickok 45 instagram the real hickok 45 and also i have an instagram page where i post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that john j-o-h-n underscore h-i-c-k-o-k four five on instagram and uh the next thing you have to do is watch more videos <laughs>